This is PBS, the Punch Broadcasting Service. While many know Mr. Punch as the ruggedly handsome face of Punch Cigars, few know the impact he has had on the world since his first appearance in 1662. The following dramatic reenactments finally tell his stories. Viewer discretion is advised. This is Punch History. The year was 1910. After centuries of being the world's foremost ladies' man, Mr. Punch was approached by over 10,000 men and women, claiming that he was indeed their father, from famous figures such as Susan B. Anthony, Joan of Arc, and Annie Oakley, bearing gifts of beer, cigars, and samurai swords, and wanting a relationship with the man who People magazine named sexiest bobblehead alive, Mr. Punch embraced his children, as well as the idea of receiving gifts for being a father. With this inspiration in his wooden mind, he went to the Punch Lab and began his work, a montage of work like the world has never seen. When he was finished, he had found his creation, Father's Day. To ensure he would continue to receive gifts from his ever-growing stable of children, he knew this concept of Father's Day would need the approval of President William Howard Taft. So he mounted his loyal steed, Gary the Dragon, and headed to the White House. After explaining the number of children that sprung from his loins, Taft was unconvinced. Knowing that Taft was a tough negotiator, Mr. Punch pulled out his trump card. A giant turkey leg. Overcome with excitement at this delicious donation, Taft quickly approved the creation of Father's Day. And thus, a day saluting fathers is born. And we have these people to thank. Mr. Punch, President Taft, and the legions of Mr. Punch's children. Godspeed, ladies and lads. We thank you for your support.